The 2009 revision of the Y145 standard has added a chart that shows various datum features, their datum feature simulators, and the degrees of freedom that they may constrain when the feature is a primary datum feature on a regardless of material boundary basis. This series of tips illustrates each of these datum feature types using video clips from our computer-based training course. Let's start with a plane. Here I've identified the lower surface of this part as datum feature A. The simulator might be something like a granite surface plate and it's establishing a datum plane. Now a datum plane, if it's primary, arrests three degrees of freedom. One translation, and you can see this part wouldn't be able to move up and down anymore, and two rotations. Rotation about two of the axes. Sometimes though it's easier to understand the degrees of freedom being constrained by thinking about what degrees of freedom have not been constrained. If we look at this part resting on a surface plate, the part could still move left and right and front and back and it could still rotate on the plate. Since there's one rotation remaining, two must have been constrained. And since there's two translations remaining, one translation must have been constrained. Be sure to check out other tips in this series to see how other datum features work or take our computer-based training online or on DVD. And remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.